miles and miles of desert dissected by a two-lane highway, the area known as Salt Flat is hot, dry, and dusty. You can't tame this country. Plenty of people have tried. The desert only laughed. But for 85 years, Shirley Richardson and her family have welcomed others into their home here with a hot meal and a hug. How you doing? Good, you? Yeah, doing fine. <laughs> I like meeting people. I'm a people person. Every day, a slow trickle of oil field workers, locals, and travelers wander into the Salt Flat Cafe. They know it as a speck of pure white on the horizon, wedged between infinite strips of brown and blue. Shirley Richardson knows it as home. I remember playing here, climbing the trees and playing on the pipeline when they were putting the other pipeline in. When the war came along, well then I remember the guys parachuting out because they practice out here. And I have two fox hosts left, so. Well, no matter who walks through that rickety screen door, they'll get homemade food with a heaping side of hospitality. Oh, it's nothing fancy, sandwiches, burgers, and burritos. But for road-weary travelers, it sure hits the spot. Well, they can get anything they want because I have to cook it no matter what. What are you making there? I'm gonna make two, four hamburgers with fries. Two is, two is for them and then two he's gonna take to his mother and dad. You make a lot of burgers here? Uh, lots of burgers. Are they good? And of course they are, I make them. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else y'all need? No, no ma'am. No. Mark, you want some more tea? Please. Let me get that for you. Her family has run this remote restaurant since the Great Depression. It's just about the only thing left in the community of Salt Flat, some 80 miles east of El Paso. Most people can't even imagine living out here. Surely can't imagine not. Would you would you ever want to live in a... No. You didn't even <laughs> let me finish. I know, you don't have to finish. <laughs> you would not want to ever move to a big city or... Uh, hey, I, from when I leave here, I have an hour and 15 minutes to pray before I get to El Paso, and you need it. Seventy-five minutes to the grocery store. Not another business in sight. Now, you and I might think that's the middle of nowhere, but Shirley thinks this stretch of Highway 180 is in the middle of all the action. We've always had lots of activity around here. Everybody say, what do you do for, for entertainment? Well, we always have something going on. From the Dust Bowl to World War II to the birth of the record industry, Salt Flat Cafe has seen its share of activity. I had uh, Jim Reeves and Slim Whitman and uh, Buck Owens and oh, Ernest Tubb and Kitty Wells. Granite stayed open 24 hours a day then. 24 hours a day here it, mm -hmm. in Salt Flat? Yes, in 62 when I was a senior, we were still open all night. But these days, the lunch orders don't come in so often, and celebrity tour buses have been replaced with the Greyhound. Business has slowed down at Salt Flat Cafe. There's a lot of traffic going by out there on that uh, two-lane highway. Yes, there is. But not many of them seem to be pulling in. Well, they're just in a hurry. They'd a lot rather be in town, so let them go. Shirley may sweat the West Texas heat, but she's not gonna sweat a slow year or 
even a slow decade. This place has been here far too long, and now it's part of the landscape she loves so much. The country's beautiful. I know it's not green, but it's still beautiful. You think this is beautiful? Absolutely. I definitely do. I love watching the sun come up and the sun go down, and I love watching that mountain changes no matter what. <laughs> Like her grandparents before her, Shirley has watched the sun, the clouds, and the seasons all move across Guadalupe Peak. Through it all, the mountain remains unfazed, and so does Shirley Richardson in honoring her family's wishes to preserve this West Texas oasis. That's what they wanted, and so that's what I want to do. I want to keep it going, too. It is important to a lot of people. Oh, to me too. Is it? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I want to keep it going. Thank you. Y'all have fun.